<clears throat> Story time, bitch. All right, so I'm going to tell y'all about my first fight. Now, I've been holding this one off because I try not to promote violence because, you know, I got children following me and shit, but y'all been asking for this one, so. Just remember, kids, violence is never the answer, okay? But, you know, sometimes somebody need to get that ass whooped, all right? Sometimes. So I'm in the 10th grade. This is the year right after I got expelled. I just got back into school, so I'm feeling like a badass. You know what I'm saying? Don't fuck with me because I'll stab you in the fucking face. That was my reputation. That wasn't really my reputation, but I had thought it was at the time, so. So word on the street was that this boy Nate wanted to fight me, and I was like, you know what? Tell Nate if he wants some beef to say it to my fucking face, all right? So later on, I get tagged in this Facebook status from Nate that said, Michael Corey is a bitch. Now, y'all know I'm not no bitch, right? So I'm sitting there thinking, I was like, did I say, say it to my Facebook? Mm, close enough. We got beef now. I sit there and think, I'm like, you know what? I'm not even going to comment on it because... I'm mature, right? So I'm not going to sit here and argue on the internet. Just know, when I see you, it's on. But then, people started liking the shit. Like, I seen people start liking the Facebook status. And I was like, nah, fuck that. You know what? I'm not no bitch. I'm going to comment back. That's what I did. I started commenting, right? I was like, who the fuck? You th Hold up. Backspace. That's not intimidating enough. Caps lock. Who the fuck you think you talking to, bro? So, like... 176 comments later, we decided that we was going to meet on Saturday and we was going to fight, right? So for the next three days, I was just preparing myself, right? I was doing push-ups. I was boxing myself in the mirror, which is harder than it sounds. I was drinking raw eggs and shit. I thought I was Rocky. I don't know. So Saturday comes, I wake up in the morning. I was like, you've been training for this. You know what I'm saying? You know that feeling when you're about to beat someone's ass? That's what I was feeling. Now, the fight wasn't until 2 o'clock, but I decided I was going to show up a little bit late. You know what I'm saying? Because I thought it was an intimidation factor. I thought it would scare him a little bit more if I was late. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, shit. He's running late to his own fight. Like, Michael's a savage. He don't give a fuck about nothing. He must, he mu he must be beating a lot of ass today. But that's not what happened. Uh, 2 o'clock came. I started getting a bunch of phone calls. They're like, uh, why you not here? It's 2 o'clock. Why you bitching out? Why you scared? So I'm like, bitch, I'm not scared, all right? I'm just running a little late, okay? I've been beating a lot of ass today. Tell him he waited three days. He can wait three more minutes. So I show up to the fight, and there's like 30 people there. I step out all fucking fearless, you know what I'm saying? I had a Justin Bieber haircut at the time. I flipped my hair. I was like, where's Nate? So I see him, and I initiate the fight just like any 10th grader would initiate any fight. I called him a bitch, and I pushed his ass. Now, uh, I was real small in the 10th grade, so he was like two times my size. So when I pushed him, he didn't really move. I just had to act tough, and I stood there. I was like, what's up? Somebody was like, ding, 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 and I just started swinging, right? And guys, I was small, but they called me stone hands, right? Heavy-handed blows to the face, all right? Started counting all my syllables with my hits. I was like, you fucking stupid bitch, huh? Stupid was two syllables, but I counted it in one because it was a strong hit. Like I said, he was bigger than me, so he tries using his size to an advantage. He tries tackling me, and he was bigger than me, so he tackled me, okay? Got on top of me, hit me in the face one time, mop. And I was just thinking, oh, you done fucked up now. So I just kind of rolled him over and got on top of him. As easy as that. I don't know how. I don't know what happened, but I just did it. I don't know. I got on top of him, started laying the stone hands again. You know what I'm saying? And everyone was like, Mike's a fucking savage. Everybody, stop the fight. Mike's going to kill him. So they stopped the fight. We stand up, and he's all bleeding and shit. And I was like, what's up? You done? And like a damn warrior, he was like, no. We started fighting again, and what I mean by that is I started beating his ass again, and everyone was like, oh my god, please, stop the fight, like, Mike's a fucking savage, oh my god. So yeah, that's about it, you know what I'm saying? I won my first fight, um, nobody wanted to fight me in high school after that, because uh, they knew me by stone hands, you know what I'm saying? Don't fuck with me, all right? And me and Nate were friends after that. On Monday, we was walking around in school together. Uh, we was like, it was just a joke. You know what I'm saying? Teachers were like, what happened, Nate? He was like, I fell down the stairs. Uh, 
uh, the greatest part about this story is that there's a video. So, did y'all want to see that or? Nate! Hey, girl, get on with that, Bob Tom. Put your weight on. Bob Tom, time? Don't give up. Turn that knees, Mike. Turn that knees, Mike. Turn that knees, Mike. Turn that knees, Mike.